While Ford's top message was the muscle of an all-new F-150 and Chrysler steered the press towards its new Ram pickup, GM drove in a different direction, not only with a phalanx of alt-fuel vehicle reveals from Hummer to Saturn to Saab, but also with an announcement of a partnership with a small firm called Cascada that rocked the ethanol world. Cascada has developed a proprietary process to produce ethanol at a projected cost of less than one dollar per gallon. And Cascada expects to be able to replicate this process almost anywhere in the world because it can use almost any source material. This biology-based renewable energy firm from suburban Chicago scored big with GM in three areas. Its unique three-step process, the ability to use source materials like agricultural waste, municipal waste, and even use tires, as well as producing ethanol with a very low greenhouse gas footprint. It takes less than a gallon of water to produce every gallon of ethanol in the Coscata process. Corn requires two to three times that much. Uh, and some of the uh, more futuristic uh, down-the-line technologies involving uh, cellulosic ethanol, perhaps six to seven times that amount of water. So we believe we have a, a, an ecological footprint, an environmental footprint that's also very attractive. With consumers paying record prices for gas and General Motors with more than 2.5 million flex fuel vehicles on the road in North America alone, Finding a fast, efficient way of producing more E85 that doesn't depend solely on Midwestern cornfields was a big reason for this partnership. The most exciting part is that Coscata has flexible feedstocks. So what you have here is you have the ability to have a biorefinery, very small scale, far less commercial cost to get it started, but you can put it anywhere in the world. You can look to the local feedstock and be able to make fuel from it. I mean, to us, that's extremely exciting. With the Cascada process still a few years out, don't expect to see today's mostly grain-based ethanol refineries disappear anytime soon. And it looks like the same can be said for GM's other alt-fuel programs, like the plug-in hybrid Volt or the Chevrolet Equinox hydrogen fuel cell. We're continuing very aggressively with things like battery development, fuel cell development, and hybrid systems. We're not pulling back on that at all, but our view is it is not either or. We need to do both.